Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. My goodness. Okay, so message for the week is trust. Trust. Trust is going to be a very interesting energy to come in, whether it's about trust in a relationship, or whether it's about trusting the universe with something that's going on for you. We're going to pull some more cards and see what else is coming in for Aquarius. So we are in your fellow air sign Libra. I'm sure one just flipped over then. Where did it go, Aquarius? <laughs> Here it is. Ah, page of acorns, discovery and enthusiasm. This is the equivalent of the page of wands. So this is where the universe is like, there's a spark here. There's a spark of something and they want you to follow it. So this little spark of interest or passion or connection that comes in is something that is, yeah, wanting you, it could be messages coming in around your career or around your passions in some sort of way that's wanting to kind of spark your interest and they're wanting you to go down that path. So perhaps it's like trust the path or can you trust this person that this is about at this moment in time. Let's see what's shifting, what energies are shifting and changing for you this week. We've got Cup 8, Neptune, Pisces. So this is actually really nice because this could be where you're starting to feel a lot better about something or someone. The Neptune, Pisces can be where you were feeling just murky or really um, just something wasn't feeling great or feeling quite unfulfilled with something. It can also be where there was a little bit of disillusionment that, that came in. Sometimes with this energy, we can be looking at blurriness. Things aren't clear, blurring of boundaries. So that's what's shifting and changing. There's a clarity that comes in that brings fulfillment, which is going to be really nice. So let's see what else is coming through for you here, Aquarius. We're just going to move all of those cards out of the way. So yeah, it just feels like there's something that kind of takes you out, up and out of a little bit of a murkier energy with this Neptune, Neptune and Pisces energy here with the Cup 8. So, yeah, I think that it's, yeah, this trust energy is going to be really, really important coming through. So what else is coming in for Aquarius? We've got, oh, they all decided to come in at once and the two of wands yeah, starting something new, really important energy to start a new connection or start something that's kind of sparking off, you know, a new path is opening that is something you wanted to do, taking those initial steps. That seems to be a really important thing. But, yeah, look at this. <laughs> okay. We have, as the situation coming towards you, the lover's card. So definitely there could be a soulmate energy that you're kind of working something with and it's like, ooh, you could come up with an interesting idea or just an interesting interesting new energy appears this week. Uh, but the lover's card can represent a big choice that opens up and it's like, ooh, okay, big choice. But we've got the nine of cups next to it. So Whatever you decide to do and trust your intuition with this, trust this spark that's coming in, you're moving towards the Nine of Cups, which is fulfillment. Things are starting to line up, which is actually really lovely. So that's why they're wanting you to trust this little spark that's coming through here. I kind of do get that this is to do with a partnership of some sort. I feel like there is another person that's coming in here. And this could be somebody that you could actually be very close to or you spend a lot of time with is kind of the energy I'm getting and it may have just, there's something that's coming in that's revitalizing this, which is actually really nice. So as a potential outcome of this, we have the two of pentacles. So it's interesting because I feel like you're taking on something new. So you're taking on like something extra. So whatever this spark is that comes in, whether it's something you want to be doing with your career or something you want to be doing with another person or bringing into an energy of an existing relationship, it's like, yeah, we can do it all. We can do it all at once. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like you're going to be balancing energies with that. So let's see what blessings are coming in, what blessings are coming in for Aquarius this week. So let's see what is coming through for Aquarius what blessings are coming in for Aquarius. So I think you can, you're going to be able to do it. It is a bit of a balancing act, but you're going to be able to do it. So let's see. And you're going to have to trust each other if this is another person to be able to create this balancing act. So we have, as the blessings, the nine of so Knight of Swords and the Well. Wow. Gosh. This is where it's like, oh, this quest here that's coming in for deep renewal on a soul level. So this little tiny spark, this page of acorns, 
this tiny little thing that is just like taking one step towards could have this huge effect on you. <laughs> so it could actually move quite quickly towards this sense of uh, yeah, deep nourishment, deep renewal with the well energy connecting into the source energy and going deep again and and kind of you know filling you filling yourself up again. So yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. But I do sense that this sense of deep fulfillment wanting to come in with this nine of cups. This knight of swords is like your mind going, yes, I'm taking action. I've had a taste of it. I've had a taste of something fulfilling, and I want more. So. That actually feels like a really good energy to come in. So you'll get a real sense of what feels right, what really feels right this week. Let's pull an animal spirit energy. And I do apologize if I've got a little bit of a croaky voice. I'm just fighting off a bit of a cold. We have the snake. Ooh, we love this. Hmm. Okay. You might find that a cycle is over, especially one if it's connected with the Eight of Cups. It hasn't been feeling great. It hasn't been fulfilling. But it's like whatever you're moving towards, it's got all this beautiful rainbow energy. It's connected to your gifts. It's connecting to uh, you're getting the gifts of a cycle ending where it was feeling like blur. So really enjoy this kind of rainbow sparkle that comes in Aquarius. It's really lovely. This is like the jewels that you're connecting to your inner jewel, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like it's your gifts, your talents, the rewards for having gone through that cycle and it felt probably pretty there. Yeah. So it does, the, the snake card always wants to connect you to, uh, it's like the south node actually. If any of you know where the south node is in your, car, in your chart, your astrology chart, this is where you're letting go of a cycle. There's some sort of karmic release and letting go. And in that process, it's connecting you to the gifts that you've learned or you've received throughout that cycle. So yeah, that's that's kind of what it, it's saying. It's the South Node energy coming through. So let's pull an affirmation card. They are saying pull a fairy card before we do that. A fairy card for Aquarius. So we're going to do that. Oh, we've got the Dark Lady. Hmm. This is a real Scorpio energy, actually. But um, yeah, this is, it may actually be a Scorpio around you that you are connecting with or talking to or having some intense discussions this week. So that's something that could be coming through. But ultimately, the Dark Lady connects you to your innate power. So there's something around this that's coming in. This could even be, you know, power, looking at things like power struggles in your life. But power, connecting to your power is a really important energy that comes in with this dark lady and it could be ne next to the snake. It's like that could be connected to these gifts that are coming in. It is something quite deep and connected to your, your personal hmm, integrity is the word I want to say coming in. It can also be very deeply sexual, like a deep sexuality that comes through with this. But either way, the dark lady is incredibly intuitive. She demands loyalty as well, integrity, respect, so this is interesting that's coming through with the trust because I feel like this is where you could potentially going to either regain the trust or you're just going to go the trust is not there. So it's going to be either or <laughs> that's coming in this week. Let's pull an affirmation card. It says, I see clearly. Yes, you do. I willingly forgive. I breathe love into my vision and I see with compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. So there's a lot happening here, a lot of really amazing things, but trust this spark that is coming through because it brings with it, it seems small, but brings with it like big things, some intensity, some gifts, some fulfillment, some deep renewal. And yes, you're kind of taking on more energy or taking on more things, but I do feel like this feels like it's going to lead to something that feels right. So that is the reading for the week, Aquarius. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time. If you're interested in any of my services, the link for that is also in the description box below.